Okay, one more uh, drawing of um, biological drawing showing cell detail. So again, we're drawing a few cells here. Um, this time I've picked out something a little bit different. Um, I've seen one of these in uh, one of the past exams. Um, what you see here is a couple of white blood cells or leukocytes um, surrounded by a bunch of red blood cells. Um, so obviously here they would definitely want you to uh, be drawing the, the leukocyte, um, but we might draw in a couple of the red blood cells just to to show those also. Um, so the divots or the indents there, the, there's not a hole in those red blood cells, that's just that, that slight indent. We say that they're, they're biconcave. Um, given the nature of this image, I suppose we could draw it, um, but I'm, I'm not sure if that would be necessary. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so again, we could we'd, you know give it a title, um, which would probably be the cell type and the magnification. Okay, underlined, and then let's get on with drawing our cells. So I'm going to start with the white blood cell on the left. Um, it looks pretty round to me, pretty smooth edge. Okay, so I think that'll do. Um, and then we want to draw that structure inside. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now, the, the, the key thing is here, a lot of students are really tempted to shade in um, the internal structure there. Um, you really can't. There's no shading in, in biological drawings. Um, the, the rest of the cell in here, it is quite granular. Um, there's, there's kind of little spots, so it might be a good idea to actually do a little bit of stippling. And so what I do is, is rather than um, dot sort of like this, um, if you do that, you often end up with little lines. Um, I find it's often a little bit better if I sort of hold the pencil upright and press and lift up, press. So I really push it into the paper and then pull it off. Um, so if you, if you do it really fast, sometimes they turn into little lines. Um, and then it can be interpreted as shading. Fantastic. All right, let's do the other one. So not too far between them. Okay, let's draw the, uh, the inner structure. Okay, not a perfect match, but it gives people the idea. All right, and again, might do some stippling. So just giving it a bit of stubble. Okay, so the stippling isn't supposed to be a substitute for shading. It's supposed to show uh, more texture, um, I guess, rather than... Um, how, how light or dark something actually is. Okay, so in here, um, we now need to, uh, uh, we could draw some of our red blood cells in. Um, so if it's overlapping, we could draw, um, just to show you how to do that, we could draw a red blood cell like this. And if it's overlapping, we could do the, uh, the rest of the line kind of as like a dashed line. All right, so that shows that it's just overlapping or it's underneath. Um, I might draw this cell up here. So a little bit not quite as round. All right, um, I don't know if I didn't draw the, the internal bit since I know that's that's probably an artifact, it's, it's more like a reflection. Um, 
because of that slight divot shape but if, if you see it there's no reason why uh, you shouldn't be allowed to draw it so I might just draw that as a much fainter line there we go alright um, so there we go we've done four cells that's that's probably enough there our two white blood cells two red cells so we should maybe uh, add some labels so we can put so the cytoplasm and we can put uh, this is the nucleus um, you'll notice it's it's what we call a multi-lobed nucleus um, this is quite typical for some of our white blood cells um, so we'll just put nucleus though um, now we could label um, cell membrane but it's not really a structure we can see. You've got to be careful with that. Um, so just make it clear to the examiner um, that um, you know it's not something that's visible, but that you you know where it is because of the difference in staining of the cytoplasm and the exterior. Um, so you know that the membrane will be at the uh, the cell boundary essentially. Um, if you've been asked specifically to label structures that are visible or visible under the light microscope. Um, then I would probably leave out the cell membrane just because um, that is something that they often try to trick students on a little bit. They, they want you to they want to see that you're aware of the fact that a membrane is essentially too thin to see except under a light, uh, under an electron microscope. Cool, that's it.